What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this team or draw two list. I am absolutely loving this. Despite some misplays in video one, we actually did okay. Got a two and one record. Uh, I do recommend you go check that out so that way you can kind of see the deck in its entirety. Uh, we go over everything in it so that way you get a good feel for what we're trying to do. Uh, essentially, this is a very foundational deck though where we try and build our foundation uh, and then really really capitalize on that draw two mechanics so if we can draw an extra card on our turn or draw two cards on the opponent's turn uh then we can really really do some damage <clears throat> so uh let's see what we can do um this is an interesting hand it's a little odd uh to be honest it feels a little odd but we've got a nice two into three or backup plan into opt so i think we try this um we get to lean on breeding pool here so that way we don't have to take any damage as well. It looks like we are against a Kahira deck. Uh, that's a great draw. It just ensures that we'll be able to hit our Uro on time uh, if we'd like to. And then, of course, hopefully ramp into Teferi a little bit here. Okay. Looks like an Elementals list. Uh, very interesting. Let's get Joel Rael out. The thing I'd be worried about here is maybe a Bone Crusher Giant or just a Shock. Um... But if they leave this out for any amount of time, we do get to uh, hopefully capitalize on it just a little bit. Um, okay. Yep, just an elementals list. Interesting list, for sure. Ooh. That's also very good. Um, hmm. Does that change anything, I guess is my question. Uh, I kind of think it does. Let's try this. We'll be taking a hit. Uh, and that's fine, but ideally this is going to mean we get two creatures for, uh, essentially, and a land, theoretically, for three mana, uh, and three life. Holy crap, think about the value that you get now, uh, if you play Uro. So you get a 1-1, one, one, you get a 2-2, two, two, you get three life, and you potentially, you get a draw, and then theoretically you can also get a land out of it. That's pretty good. Um, and I think I'm glad I did this now because the reality is we're going to be taking a lot of damage. <clears throat> so, let's do this. Hmm, now does that change anything? So many little questions. Uh, we could also just play this out for two. <sighs> hmm. Let's do this. Straw and discard. Um, hmm. I don't love discarding opt here. Maybe it's growth spiral that we're supposed to discard. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so here we get a couple creatures, which is amazing. Um, and now we can actually phase out one of their creatures if we'd like, or, you know, we'll figure out what the best play is here. But, um, we do have ways to now trade off with some of their things, which is good. Uh, we are going to have to find a way to stay alive here, though. This is pretty solid on their side. Um, no doubt about that. Uh, does any of this have trampled, though, is pretty important. Looks like no. Uh, which is good. That definitely helps. Because, um, <laughs> again, we're we're going for critical mass here more than anything else. So being able to uh, to essentially just go ham with a bunch of creatures. Wow, they had three of these. That is phenomenal. Um, wow, and that. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, we do need to phase, I guess, one of these out at minimum. But it doesn't even, like... <laughs> we're just in bad shape. There's no doubt. Um. Do this. I think we have to block here, right? Three, six... 12, so we then all the obviously have to block here as well. Whoo, that was pretty good. Um, <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's get Joel Rael out. That's pretty helpful. Um, hmm. Strong discard. I think we don't care about that at this point. Um, let's get a couple things going there. Let's, well, do we just brazen borrow this? Probably, right? Um, can we honestly live is the question. This is going to be tricky. Uh, we're going to end the turn. We'll see what happens. So three, 
We have to block three of their things. I don't think we can win, right? Well, no, we can't. Oh, actually, excuse me. Yes, we can. Well, we can survive, I will say. We can survive. Uh, we get to draw a card, then discard a card, then opt, if we would like. Um, so that does kind of work. So let's draw and discard. Aether Gust is pretty good. Um, I think we dropped the Uro. I don't know, honestly. That's a little bit tricky. Let's do this. Let's keep that, actually. <laughs> Uh, just as a way to draw extra cards. We just need that. Uh, that gives us a way to do it on their turn, which is important. So do we actually get to live, though, I guess? Uh, theoretically, yes. Let's do this. Have to block here, obviously. No, we don't get to live. Oh, goodness. It was pretty close. Oh, goodness. That was really close, though. Okay. Okay. Well, you get to see, at least, uh, that we can actually draw two cards pretty easily on the opponent's turn, which was really fun. That was a good game. That was awesome. Well done, opponent. They just had a crazy good hand with all of those lords. Um, my goodness. Let's jump into game two. Let's see what we can do. Um, still really like this deck. Again, the synergy is just very easy to set up. Uh, it makes it really, really fun. Um, and so I'm super, super happy to be able to do that. That's that's what I enjoy about this deck. Um it's not perfect, as we'll talk about at the end of this video, but I do really like it, so um, hopefully we can have a good game this time. Hopefully we can get a win. Oh, do we like this? It doesn't do anything until turn three, which is a little bit slow. Um, if we draw any kind of card draw, we're okay. Um, hmm. I worry that this won't be enough, is my only... That's my only hiccup here. Let's let's try it again. This is for science. <laughs> let's try it. I don't think that this is a great hand, though. I will go ahead and say. That's a very helpful draw, though, I will say. We can get that out um, and then hopefully start throwing out some creatures here. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's do this and let's do this. I don't love it because now turn three we're a little bit on edge. Uh, it kind of depends what we draw here. Yeah. That helps tremendously. Um, so the question is, do we do this or do we just do this? Um, hmm. I love the camp of doing this, I think. Let's get a creature out. Let's gain some life. Uh, we'll put this down, obviously. I think this makes more sense. Um, we can go ahead and activate this. We'll pull a blue, I assume. All right, so now if we draw a land off the top, we're like doing okay, so to speak. It's not great, but it's something. This is just super aggressive though, my goodness. Um, let's block here. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, well, we didn't. Um, hmm. Now what is the question? So we can grow Spiral and then leave up Brazen Borrower. Oh, there's our land, of course. Um, so we get a creature out, uh, and then we can leave up Brazen Borrower to hopefully last another turn here. Because my, my guess is they're just going to target the Questing Beast uh, again, uh, which is perfectly fine by me. That just means we get to Brazen Borrow it after the fact. Um, so they waste the trigger and we can, you know, save ourselves a good bit of damage here, hopefully. Um, but we'll see. Interesting. Okay. The other option, I guess, would have been to have just bounced that. Let's do this. That questing beast is so annoying. Um, let's do this. All right. So now we get to play Pyromancer. Do we get to draw, though, is the question, because we did have to grow Spiral last turn. I don't know, guys. This is going slightly terribly. Um, well, that's not going to do it, is it? Goodness gracious. We are just getting a little bit unlucky here as well. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
Mm-mm-mm. I believe they're just gonna win here. Like, there's very little we can do. Let's get to ferry out. Let's do this and throw out a pyromancer. Doesn't really matter. Um, chances are they just get to win here. They can give something trample. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and concede. They've only got to deal five damage to us, and they've got more than enough to do that. So let's jump into a quick game three. Hopefully, we can get at least one win with this. Um, Again, that was a little unfortunate. We kept drawing lands as our second card per turn um, and not as our first. If we had drawn one as our first, we would have been okay. We could have at least killed something on their side, gotten the Pyromancer out, and then spat out another 1-1. One -one. Um, so we would have at least been in like decent position. It wouldn't have been amazing, but um, we would have at least had something out to deal with what they were doing. But that was, I think, a bad keep as well. That was a slow hand for sure. Um, this hand is also a bit slow, but we do have the growth spiral here to help us get there. I'm going to try this as well. This is a very interactive hand, um, for sure. Go ahead and play the uh, Ketria Trium. Uh, interesting they shocked themselves. Why would they have done that, is my question. Uh, let's do this, and we'll technically pass here, see what they do. I have a bad tendency to just go ahead and fire off one of these, and it's not fair to do that. I'm going to counter this 100%. <laughs> I'm glad we waited. All right. Uh, let's do this and let's Uro. I like leaving up the growth spirals as a way to uh, instant speed, kind of draw some stuff. Um, also, this is better. Now that if we get a... Well, if we get a land... Hmm. We can get out the Pyromancer, which is good. This is terrible for us. Uh, hmm. Why is this in here is my question. see what they do uh we can brazen borrow something if we need to or gross spiral we'll see this is a very interesting position to be in we could have gotten the royal scions down as well worth noting but uh i don't know that we should we needed to necessarily what is this deck this is so strange <laughs> okay um oh yeah duh we can't actually do that with this um Let's do this. Let's do this. Yes. Enter's tapped. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and just kill this. They can bounce the Pyromancer. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. But we do have to get rid of the threat. We are at 10 here. Um, and chances are we have a, an opportunity to kind of go wide very quickly. Really? You're going to shatter on just a Pyromancer? That seems a little... You could have just bounced it. it. Hmm. That didn't seem correct, but that's just my take. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's draw and discard. Um, hmm. I'm going to get rid of this land, I think. Play this one. And we'll pass. I guess now they can Teferi again and just bounce a thing, but this is just a strange deck. I'm just going to go ahead and say this is a little strange to me. Um, sorry, I'm realizing the frame rates are a little bit bad as well. I apologize, guys. It's pretty good. I I mean, I'm, yeah, I, I don't know. This deck is very strange. Sure. They're just attacking me. I'm just going to take it. Hmm. 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 Um. We're going to try something here. Well, I, I don't know how good this is, but we're going to try it. Hmm. 
do we want to do this? I think we do. We're doing all kinds of random stuff today. Uh, let's draw and discard. My plan is crystallizing. Okay. No attacks. End turn. Okay, so they did decide to go for that, which makes sense. I'm fine with that. Hmm. I'm very much thinking, so I apologize that I'm not very talkative, but um, I just want to make sure we're doing this as best we can. Do this. It doesn't really matter that we did this, but let's do it. Oh, actually, no. Excuse me. We need to block the forest here. Uh, deal. It provides double mana, which is important. Okay. Hmm. First strike and trample. So, again, I'm thinking very hard. I apologize. Um, <laughs> let's do this because we know we kind of want to. Um, this is only not only going to gain us a little bit of life, but also potentially get us. Uh, well, first of all, give us a two-two. But okay. Um, I don't know. I don't feel super comfortable with this, I'll be honest, but we're going to try it. Um, I'm going to flash out this Brazen Borrower. That's fine. So this, if we would like... So this, by the way, just gives us two lethal ways uh, to kill some planeswalkers here. Ooh, that changes things. Um, eh, kind of. Royal Scions helps. Um, can also just minus eight the Royal Scions and just kind of go ham. Hmm. This is a very strange deck, I'm just going to go ahead and say. Um, yeah. We have to. I mean, we literally have to. Hmm. I don't love our position. Not going to lie. Um, I don't know. Let's just do this. Let's just see what happens. All right, so we get to deal damage to anything. Um, God, these all suck. <laughs> these are all terrible. Um, play this. Let's do this. So let's see. I'm thinking again. Sorry. Um, let's do this. We'll bounce that. Let's deal with both of these. Okay. Now. Um, activate this. Get our land. Now we play Uro. This is a very interesting game. Again, I apologize. I'm thinking very, very hard about what we're going to be doing every time. So, all right. 
we theoretically have stabilized, but that's probably not true. <laughs> um, okay. Wow, another glorious anthem, sure. I'm all too happy to trade off here. <clears throat> we get to replay our threat, they don't. Um, we also just have, like, Hydroid Crisis. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can play it for six. Uh, and then, yeah, okay. Let's attack. See what they do. Okay, well... We do have to discard a little bit here. That's fine. Let's get rid of a thrill. Um, again, we're just kind of supplying threats that can trade with their threats. That's kind of our biggest thing. Um, ooh, that does change things now, though. Basrika is very good. Uh, it gives the land indestructible, I suppose, right? Let's go ahead and opt just to say we did. Pyromancer's pretty good. Not gonna block. Okay, so. Does this have trample? It does, okay. I say, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get to fairy down. We're to a point now where we just get to outvalue them. Oh. Okay. Well, that worked, I guess. <laughs> uh, wow, that went from very much thinking we were going to be losing to very quickly pulling back out of that one. So that was pretty nice. Uh, wow, such a good game. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the deck a little bit. Um, I did misplay a good bit, let's just go ahead and say. But uh, overall, this deck is fairly forgiving in that um, you can do a lot of things with very little. Uh, what I love about the deck is that you turn drawing a card into a burn engine, into a token generator, uh, and sometimes just into multiples of each, if that makes sense, which is really, really good. I mean, you get a Joel Rael, an Improbable Alliance, and a Pyromancer out. All of a sudden, you get a 2-2, two -two, a 1-1, one -one, and 3 damage to any target. That's anything. That could be a creature. That could be a Planeswalker. Uh, that could be just the player. That does so much, not to mention if you get to stack those abilities. Uh, obviously, you can't for Joel Rael, but um, Improbable Alliance is very easy to get multiples down, as well as the, the Pyromancer, not too difficult. So um, what I love about this, uh, on top of all of that, which I think is why it does so well, uh, or generally does okay, I should say, uh, is that because it's also inherently a ramp deck, it's very easy to not only draw through your deck and get all the cards that you need, but also uh, get to the point where you can play multiple things in a turn and then draw a card. Uh, you can very easily, as we saw in that last turn, uh, drop a Pyromancer, drop a Teferi, drop like all kinds of really good stuff, and then just draw a card. Uh, and then not only are you putting yourself in a board position where you've already played multiple things per turn, but you're dealing with multiple things per turn on the opponent's side, and getting creatures out. So this really is a cool deck. Um, I don't think it's perfect. I think given some slight different plays on my end, we would have done a little bit better with our record. Uh, three and three is okay, but it's not great. Um, I would have liked to have seen at least a four and two record. I think given that first video, the second game where I really kind of messed up on the Teferi play, I think we could have done better there. But um, Overall, I think you can see, especially in that last game, how well this, this deck does, even from a losing position. I mean, we were not winning that game. Uh, we were down to like four or five life at one point, so I was very much in the like loser seat of that game. Uh, but I feel like we were able to dig ourselves out, which was great. So I love this deck. I think this is a fun one. 
Uh, I highly recommend at least trying it out. Uh, I think it's a really cool take on the Improbable Alliance decks that we've seen in the past, which were mostly just is it focused decks. Uh, this gives it a little bit of a different idea. So I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Uh, if you did, of course, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, and I'll see you guys hopefully very soon in the next gameplay video. Have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you then.